Hey everyone, it's been a while. In today's video, we'll dive into meme coins on the Solana blockchain. Ever wondered how to find and get in on these meme coins early? Some people have seen returns of 10x, 100x, and even 1000x. For example, Dog with Hat. The current market cap is $2.65 billion. And how about Bonk, which is about $2.17 billion, and Book of Meme, which is around $657 million. And finally, Popcat, this is around $945 million. Disclaimer, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, and any decisions you make based on the information presented in this video are at your own risk. Please consult with a professional financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Today, we will code a script in Node.js to find these meme coins as soon as they're created so that you can snipe them early. As you can see from my script running, the server listens for new coin creations, displaying the SoulScan signature, mint token address, total amount of Solana invested by the developer, and the DEX screener location. It's quite straightforward. This script functions as a new token finder, but you can modify it to include a buy bot for these tokens if desired. In the future, I will create and share a script for that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. So, let's get started. Just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying this YouTube video, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. It really helps support the channel and allows me to bring you more great content to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from me. First, we need to install Engrok. You can find the link in the description below. Engrok is a tool that creates a secure tunnel to your local host, making it accessible over the internet. This allows you to expose a local development server online, which is perfect for testing webhooks, API integrations, or sharing your local work without having to deploy it to a live server. For our purpose, We'll be using Engrok for running webhooks. You should register and install Engrok. They offer a free tier, so there's no need to worry about costs. I have Engrok installed on my Linux system, which is running on my Windows machine. First, open a terminal. I've installed Engrok for Linux and am using the WSL terminal. To check if Engrok is installed and to view the version number, type the command Engrok-V. If you see the version number, then Engrok is installed. If not, you need to go back and follow the installation instructions properly. Now type ngrok http3000. After executing that command, you should see something like this on the screen. That means ngrok is all ready to go. You can now use this part and a public-facing URL that will forward to your local host. This URL is what we'll use to configure Helios. Next, navigate to the Helios website. Helios is a developer platform on Solana that provides high-performance RPC services, enhanced APIs, and real-time webhooks to streamline blockchain development. We're going to use Helios to set up the webhook. Please click the Start for Free button and sign up. They offer a free account. Click the Webhooks button in the left navigation menu, then click New Webhook on the right. Note that the free version only allows one webhook. You should see the Configure Webhook window pop up. This is where you will input the details. In the network section, we will be focusing on the main network, so select mainnet. For the transaction type, we need to identify any new pool creation. To do this, search for create pool and select it. This will serve as our listener whenever a transaction refers to pool creation. Now we'll configure the webhook using the URL that Engrok provided, but with the addition of slash webhook. So copy the forwarding URL and paste it here and add slash webhook. For the account address, we need to monitor the Radium Open Book Market address. You can find the address here, and links will also be provided in the description below. Please select, copy and paste the address. Now click Confirm. After 2-5 to five minutes, you should see HTTP requests appearing in your Ngrok terminal. It will show a 502 bad gateway errors, which indicates that the webhook is functioning correctly. Next we will create a Node.js script to listen for these requests and process the data. Let's create a folder on the desktop named Solana Pool Sniper. Once created, open the folder in Visual Studio Code. Next, open the terminal and start a new project by typing npm init. 
Press Enter to accept all the default settings and type Yes when prompted. Now let's install the necessary dependency. We need Express to run a local server. Please type npm install express. Create a file named poolsniper.js and open it. This file will be used to listen for our webhook. We need to import express and assign it to the variable consent. Next, assign express to the variable app. Create a variable port and set its value to 3000. Also, create a variable log array. We will use this later. To parse incoming requests with JSON payloads, we need to use app.use with express.json. We need to create a post request handler to manage the incoming data. We'll use app.post with the route slash webhook. Next, we need a listener to handle the incoming data on port 3000. We'll use app.listen for this purpose. Let's add a console log in the post request to see what data we're getting. Let's run the express server now. In my case, I need to run the server in the Linux terminal because ndrock is installed there so I'll select the Ubuntu WSL terminal. Then type nodepoolsniper.js. As you can see, the server is listening for any incoming requests from Helios and then ngrok. You should now see some data coming in, similar to what you see on my screen. It's just JSON data coming from Helios. You can also check your ngrok terminal to confirm that there are no 502 errors for those incoming requests. Next, we'll clean up the data to extract only what we need. I modified the app post method to scrape only the necessary details. In this section, we extract the signature, token data 1, and token data 2. Typically, token 1 will be the mint token, while token 2 will be the Solana token. The condition checks for cases where token 1 is the Solana token. If so, it swaps the token information accordingly. Next, we'll check the log file to ensure there are no duplicate entries. Sometimes a duplicate signature may appear, so this step helps avoid that. If the signature is new, it will be added to the log array. Here, I will log the scrape details to the console. It will display the signature, the new token mint address, the amount of Solana invested by the developer, and a link to deck screener. Now, run the script by typing nodepoolsniper.js. You should see the fully formatted data being populated. If you click the signature link, it will show you the details in SoulScan. If you click the deck screener link, you should be able to see the chart. As you can see, this token is a scam. The developer removed the liquidity from the pool. Be careful when purchasing these tokens, as many rug tokens are created. Let's try another one. This seems like a good token to snipe. The liquidity is locked, so it's unlikely to be a scam. However, please do your own research. That's a wrap for this tutorial. I've shared the detailed code and tutorial on my new Patreon page. If you'd like to support me and gain access to more content, join using the link below. I'll regularly post new snippets and code there, including exclusive content from future YouTube tutorials. If you have any questions or need coding help, consider joining my Patreon community. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.